Welcome back, travelers. Your friend Tea Leaf here. And just checking my notes here because I want to see how much we need. I think today I'm going to take a trip down to Resna. I was, uh, I've been meaning to do this for a while to get the Umber Light. Uh, 2910. And I think every knot of thankful wishes is worth 10. So we'll just grab them all and head on down there. So come along. Let's go visit Resna Rose Spring. So we're starting out here in crossings. And as much as I do like taking uh, a boat ride to the other side of Braided Shore, I think we're going to walk. We'll head south to the uh, to the Alcan Rock coast after we do a little inventory check here. So this is a little glitch that happens every once in a while. Uh, keep in mind, Book of Travels is in early access. So you'll run into uh, a few glitches here and there. But one for the Ardent Lantern, I find, is if it doesn't work, when you cast it like that, is just select it, left click on it up here, uh, cancel the effect, and then it should work. made me look like a liar. <laughs> we'll try it again. There we go. Always good to have a source of light, even though it's not completely dark yet, but it's getting there. Actually, I'm checking up here too because sometimes the Master Iron Prospector uh, can be found walking these tracks up here. They can be found in crossings as well. Uh, but sometimes I spot them here. And I always like trading with them. good source for the uh, thankful knots once you trade with them do a few things also the tobacco connoisseur here I don't know if that's in play just yet or if that's something yet to come I know we don't have uh, pipes or anything like for this slot that I know of but I am collecting the knots that you get from these guys as well keeping them in storage just in case there's a use for them later I, I have a feeling there will be
Huh, looks like we have some omen running around here. I really like the Alcan Rock Coast. We'll get some of this uh, driftwood dust because that's actually used for the lantern here. Uh, Woops powder, three, and one driftwood dust. Yeah, so I collect that whenever I can. One of the other glitches I think that I've noticed is sometimes when you deselect an ability, uh, especially Ardent Lantern, at least for me, is it's at level three right now, but if I were to replace it with something else and then bring it back into my skill set here uh it'll go back to level one for me i don't know if that's intentional i don't i wouldn't think it is um but yeah i've reported that i don't know i don't know if you guys report your bugs or anything but you should i got some more right here if you watch my other journeys on here, you'll know of uh, Gull Rock Island, uh, which is one of my favorite places to hang out. Uh, has the um, wind dust. One of the one of the rare places that you'll find wind dust uh, for my favorite knot, which is fold. I love that thing. Also, I'm really looking forward to the Umberlight because there was a, an update to it, I believe. I actually had it on a previous character that I don't have anymore. Um, I deleted the character. I just delete characters all the time and start new ones. But uh, yeah, I had it, and it was before it, it was actually illuminated. Um, now it actually lights up, so I'm excited to actually see it. We're almost at the Jade Urn, which will cross through to the northwest, I believe, up to uh, Char Forest, and we'll meet Resna, I believe they're right there at the southern part of that map, which is where we'll enter. There's a deer there. <laughs> Almost didn't see it. Jade Urn can be a, a strange place. 
especially at night. Right on cue is that ominous music. And we'll just pass our way through here. If we do run into any trouble, I think I have my sword equipped, right? Sometimes I have my fishing rod equipped and I run into bandits. And it never works out very well. So this time, we'll be prepared. And before I cross this river, I'm going to check the Humming Spring well. If you'll notice, I've got my battered and bruised debuff still from the beginning of the game. Uh, when I started over on this tune, I wanted to check out the Patient Sephra, which spawns, I believe, Humming Spring Well area. So I visit here every night that I can and I haven't run into them yet. So because we're here, I, I have to check. Fingers crossed. I mean, this looks like an area here, like there should be something here, maybe? So, Humming Spring Well, I'm assuming it's in this area. And I'm pretty patient. I just check every night. And sometimes I wait, spark a little fire. and enjoy the serenity. Just gonna collect myself here and have a short tea break. And then we'll uh, continue our journey to visit Resna. All right, thanks for waiting with me. I believe we're not too far. There's a fireplace here. I wonder if this is a meeting area for anything. A 
Maybe I should check this area as well when I come here. Just to be on the safe side. something over here. Yep. Some wolves. Sister Grinna. And the wolf sister. I'm really debating on going for this. Might have some good loot. I mean, wasn't planning on violence today. But let's let's see if we can do this. Right, so I want the cobalt brew. I think I have some vials in my inventory that'll help me. So before we step into combat here, I'm going to brew a little of this cobalt brew. That will give me some more ward. And then I do have a vial on me of cinnabar brew, which will give us more force. Nice knowing everyone. <laughs> Here we go. That's unfortunate. <laughs> there was a bit of a glitch there. I couldn't activate combat right away. But I think they would have got the better of me. Normally that's a fight that I win, but like I tripped over a rock or something. They got the jump on me. So, looks like we're back at Alkin Rock. But I have an idea that'll save us some time. We're going 
to deselect the Cobalt T. And I'm going to activate the port of the knot or the port of the deer knot. And this is going to help us make up for lost time. We are getting to Resna, one way or another. Not this time, wolves. You've made yourselves uh, quite clear. Oh, I had to take one of them down, but... I don't need to concern myself with that. My curiosity got the better of me. Maybe tried uh, too much showmanship instead of planning properly for that. be a game of patience, that's for sure. Okay, we're here. Thanks to the port of the deer. And Resna should just be to the east of this road as soon as you enter this area. And there is a path here, I see. should take us there. <laughs> Don't be worried. Don't be worried when you see this fella. He's, uh, he's a friend. And here's Resna. Made it. There's a lot of things I'd like to get here, and I, I plan on getting everything. This one's really cool as well. Five pocket slots, plus two spirituality, and it looks really cool. I do need a belt. I'm short a belt right now. I traded my my belt by accident, and I do like the speed on this one. Three pocket slots is pretty nice as well. The necklaces are really good, very expensive. I have this, and it's great. Not just for the light, but for the plus two spirit as well in the offhand. And one of the reasons I want the umber light is not only for the plus two mechanics, or sorry, I was gonna say not only for the light, but for the plus two mechanics and plus one social. Yeah, all of these things. You can't go wrong with any of these. It's 
so let's see what we can do here. Wish you could just drag the stack down. shave some of these off so we don't shortchange ourselves. Uh, just do it one at a time. We're already getting a, a bargain, but there we go. Look at that. We got it. All right. Looks like we might be able to get a few other things, maybe something else as well, but I'm gonna wait because I, I wanna be very selective of, of what we choose next. It's probably gonna be a ring or a necklace or that belt if I can afford it, but I'll think about it. Actually, I probably don't have enough for anything, let's face it. go look at you isn't that nice man does that thing ever light up wow I have the, the the oil lantern and it's a pretty good source of light when you go in and search the underbelly and things like that but this thing really lights up and I think protects you from the rain as well. Look at that. Perfect. Well, that was worth the trip. Maybe not worth the fight that we got into, but definitely worth the trip. This is where we'll settle in for the night. At least until morning. And then we'll continue our, our journeys. So thanks again, my friends, for coming along with me on this one. See you on the next one. Take care.